Good. Um, I wanted to ask you um, with the news that that Brendan was opting out just about about Turner Corcoran and um, if if he is involved in your plans for this weekend and then just what you've seen from him. Obviously, as a young guy, it's not easy to be in position to to play offensive line in the Big Ten. You betcha. Yeah, no, we think he's going to be a great player. Uh, when we recruited him, we thought the same thing, and he's he's kind of surpassed our expectations, and we're excited. You know, the, we we wish you know Jaime the best, and uh, you know he's got to do what's best for him. We completely get that, but this is a great opportunity for Turner, and I think he's going to make the most of it. What, what have you seen from him? Obviously, he was a highly regarded kid in in high school, um, but what what has he shown you? That it, how has he uh, exceeded your expectations uh, since he's been on campus? Sure. Yeah. He, well, he's talented. He's big and strong and tough, which you need to be on the offensive line. He has good feet and, uh, you know, he cares. It's important to him. And so that's, that's the biggest thing as a freshman is, is how fast can you learn it and play with confidence? And he's done a great job with that. And, you know, we were trying to get him in more and more as the season was going, but now he's, it's getting sped up a little bit and, and we're excited about it. I know he's excited about the opportunity. Sam McEwen. Hey Matt, what's your understanding of why uh, Hymas decided to leave before the Rutgers game? Uh, I don't know that to be honest with you. I, you know, it's it's uh, his decision. You know, we we get it. Um, I'm sure it has to do with you know draft preparation and uh, what what he thinks will help him you know be the most successful. Um, and so you know we 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 really do. We wish him the best. And and, and then for us, it gives us an opportunity to get get Turner going. You know and. And Banks going and getting some guys some more reps, and so you know there's always there's always a silver lining. And again, I can't uh, emphasize enough. We we wish him the best. So Banks is the backup there at left tackle. Yes, yeah, and we can, and we can always rotate guys around. We we cross train guys. We can plug and play. What uh, have you ever had an offensive line in your in your career that started three freshmen? Uh, I did once. I, my first. Uh, uh, coordinator job at Oregon. I think we actually started four freshmen, not by choice. Kind of the same thing. We had a couple guys get hurt, and uh, we had a young freshman, Justin Herbert, who made those guys look pretty good, who helped help the cause. But uh, yeah, it's a it's a challenge. You know, the, the biggest thing though, you, those guys are going to get better with experience, and, and we know that. And the way we practice, you know, they, they've got a lot of reps. They, they've been in our two deep this whole time, and so it's not like they don't. You know, they know what they're doing. Um, they just need they just need reps. They just need to go play and. We're excited to watch him. John Callahan, Husker Online. Thanks. Hey, Coach. I'm just curious. Uh, with the game now at night and then the weather obviously taking quite a turnout in Rutgers, how much will you guys have to really measure the elements and kind of what you're walking into and what's going to work and what's not going to work um, and kind of try to figure that stuff out in pregame warm-ups on Friday? Sure. Um, you know, we're, we're used to the cold living in Nebraska. So, and I know it's going to be, you know, cold or snowy there, but we, we practice a lot outside. I think that's helped our guys. It's kind of a mindset. Uh, you know, the last game against Minnesota was, wasn't bad. It was kind of cold, windy, but I know our, our guys have been used to getting outside and, and doing that. So I don't think it'll phase us that much. Um, the fact that the game uh, time just changed on us, that's not a big deal. I mean, both teams have to deal with it. And so, you know, that kind of is what it is. We've played night games before, so it's just, uh, you know, for us, it gives you a little more opportunity to get a little more rest, um, to maybe dial up a couple more meetings, a couple more walkthroughs, uh, last minute tips and tests. Because this is a short week. You know, usually you play on a Saturday, so we're, we're a day short of practice. And again, Rutgers, they, they have the exact same thing, so we're both in the same boat. But, but I don't really think it'll affect our, our preparation that much. Lincoln Journal Star, Steve Sipple. Hey, uh, Coach, I asked Scott this yesterday, but um, getting into a little more detail now about that young offensive line and what it faces against Rutgers. Um, I thought against Michigan, they look pretty active. How are they up front? They're good. I mean, they're, they're, this is a really good defense, and they're, they're strong up front. Um, they're physical. They, they've created a lot of negative plays, you know, which yes. that will be a big big challenge for us. Um, you know, we, we got to get – keep it simple for our guys, you know, let, let them play. That's what they're not thinking and, you know, do the stuff that we do well. Uh, you know, these guys, uh, they, 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 they play fast too and hard, which is a testament to their coaching. It's a testament to their players. And we got a ton of respect for them. So it's, it's going to be a huge challenge. Thank you, coach. Thank you. Coach. Thank you.
think we got one more for Coach uh, Evan Bland, World Herald. Hey Matt, I know Coach Frost last week had said a lot of great practices that didn't necessarily translate into the game. How would you, I guess, assess or evaluate how the practices have gone so far this week? They've gone good. You know, that, that was a frustrating thing last week. So we really did thought going into the game we had some of our best practices we've had up until the year, and guys were into it. And at the end of the day, you know, they made more plays than us and, and outplayed us, and we didn't execute as good as we need to execute. Uh, this, this week, you know, you always worry how guys are going to come in after a loss. Um, are they going to let, you know, just a, a little negativity seep in, or is there going to be a lack of effort? And that has not been the case. I mean, our, our guys are, they're really good kids. They just want to compete and play. They're, they're excited about another opportunity to play. And uh, the effort's been there, and the execution's been there. And so now the big thing is, and I know all the media and fans are worried about, we, we got to execute on Saturday, as we, and we're worried about it as well.